Hi, I'm Ross Schwartzberg, and today I'm going to show you how to connect to an Oracle Analytics Cloud Compute VM using Secure Shell. Specifically, we'll look at connecting using the popular PuTTY SSH client and the steps involved to convert the private key created during the Compute VM provisioning to the PuTTY private key format recognizable by PuTTY as well as other utilities that use the .ppk format such as FileZilla and WinSCP. Here's what you'll need. The IP address for your organization's Oracle Cloud Compute VM that you wish to connect to. The private SSH key from the zip file that was created when your compute was provisioned. And you'll also need to make sure that you've installed PuTTY on your Windows PC, as well as your favorite SSH file transfer utility such as WinSCP or FileZilla. Here are the steps required. First, you'll need to convert the private key to a format recognized by PuTTY using the PuTTY Gen utility, which is part of the PuTTY installation package. This is the .ppk format, which stands for PuTTY Private Key. When the private key is converted, we can optionally create a passphrase that must be entered when the key is accessed. We'll then configure PuTTY to connect to our compute VM using a saved session. Here we have a couple of options. We can explicitly specify the private key to use for each PuTTY connection we configure, or we can utilize the PuTTY pageant agent to preload one or more private keys into memory for use by any pageant-enabled SSH utility. These keys are then available until pageant is shut down or the key is unloaded. This option is useful because we don't need to hard code the PuTTY private keys into each saved connection. If we connect to a cloud VM using both PuTTY and the FileZilla SFTP utility, for example, both utilities can retrieve private keys that have been loaded into memory from pageant. Also, if there is a passphrase required for a private key, it only needs to be entered when pageant loads the key into memory instead of during each connection attempt. To find the public IP address for your Oracle Cloud Compute VM, first log into My Services dashboard for your cloud account. At the top left, you'll click the hamburger to the left of the Oracle Cloud Services logo to open the navigation menu. On the left, click on Compute to open the Compute Services console. On the Instances tab, we see each of the Compute VMs associated with our environment. Let's say we want to connect to Analytics BIEE BI VM-1. In that row, we want to make a note of the public IP address. In our case, let's assume that by some odd coincidence, it's 123.123.123.123. We'll make note of that for later. If the PuTTY package has not already been installed on your computer, you'll need to download it from www.putty.org and install it. For Windows, download the Windows installer MSI 32 or 64-bit version, depending on whether your PC is running a 32 or 64-bit operating system. The last piece of information we need is the private SSH key that was created for the OPC user, the account we will use to connect to the compute. By the way, if you're wondering about why the user ID is called OPC, it's an acronym for Oracle Public Cloud. During provisioning for the Compute VM, a public-private key pair was created and downloaded. The public key was installed in the OPC user's wallet on the VM, and the matching private key is required on the SSH client to establish a trusted connection with the Compute VM without passing password information to the VM. The format of this private key, however, is in the OpenSSL format, not in the .ppk format recognized by PuTTY, FileZilla, WinSCP, and other popular SSH clients, and will first need to be converted. The public and private keys are stored as text files and can be viewed in an editor. An example of a private key is shown here. To convert the OpenSSH private key to a .ppk format, on a computer with PuTTY installed, run PuTTYGen. Then click the Load button to select our private key file. For this example, 
I've downloaded BIEE SSH key bundle.zip to the downloaded keys folder on my desktop and unzipped it. It contains two files, private key and public key, each with no file extension. We're going to load the private key for the OPC user. Browse to the desktop downloaded keys folder and in order to locate our key which has no file extension we need to change the file type from star.ppk to all files. We'll select the private key file and then click open. The private key is imported and a message is displayed reminding us that the private key is not in the format compatible with PuTTY. After the private key has been loaded into PuTTY Gen, we can save it into the .ppk format. If you plan to share the key with others, you should strongly consider adding a key passphrase. If a passphrase is used, you'll be required to manually enter it before being connected to the server. If you don't plan on sharing the private key with others, or it will be used for automated batch jobs, you should leave the passphrase blank. In this case, we will enter a passphrase to keep the connection secure. We will create a 2048-bit RSA key. Click on Save Private Key. Give it a descriptive name that will identify the user and the compute VM. In our case, we'll save the key in the PuTTY Keys folder on our desktop and call it opsi underscore BIEE Cloud Test. Make sure the Save As type is set to the PuTTY Private Key.ppk format. Now that we have our private key file, let's see how to configure a PuTTY session. First, we'll launch PuTTY, which in our case has just been installed and there are not yet any save sessions defined. Enter the IP address in the hostname field. In our case, we've determined that it's 123.123.123.123. We'll use the default SSH connection type and we'll give our session a name, BIEE Cloud OPC. Now we'll set the session to automatically supply the OPC username when the session is launched. In the category tree on the left, expand Connection SSH and click on Auth. Enter or browse to the location of your converted PPK file. Now, if we don't want to use the PuTTY pageant agent to preload our private key for use by PuTTY, we'll need to tell PuTTY where to find our private key file. For now, we'll configure our session to explicitly use our private key. In the category selection tree, Click Connection, then Data. Under Private Connection Key for Authentication, enter or browse to the PPK private key file we converted earlier. Don't forget this last step. Now that the session configuration is complete, we need to save the connection profile for future use. In the Category tree, click the top session node. In the Saved Sessions text box, verify that the name that we entered earlier is still set. Now we'll click Save and the session will appear in the session list. If you need to edit a session later, just highlight it in the list box and click Load to load the configuration info into memory. Then make your changes, return to the session screen, and click Save to update. Now it's time to test our session. In PuTTY, you can connect by highlighting the Save Session and clicking Open, or just by double-clicking the session. If this is the first time we're connecting using PuTTY, we can click Yes to trust the connection to the server. Since we created the PuTTY private key using a passphrase, we must enter it in the PuTTY terminal session before we can connect. If we didn't include a passphrase when we created the PuTTY private key, we would be logged into the OPC session on a compute VM without being prompted for credentials. As you can see, we've successfully connected to the compute. Now let's look at using the PuTTY Pageant Authentication Agent to manage private keys. Let's assume that our saved BIEE Cloud OPC PuTTY session does not contain the PuTTY private key in its configuration. Once the PuTTY Pageant Authentication Agent is started, it sits idly in the notification area at the right end of the Windows taskbar doing absolutely nothing until one or more PuTTY private keys are loaded. To interact with Pageant, a context menu is available by right-clicking the Pageant icon. Here we can load private keys, view loaded keys, and open new and saved PuTTY sessions. Let's click on Add Key. We'll add our opsi bieecloud.ppk file 
by browsing to it and clicking Open. Since we included a passphrase in the PPK file, we need to enter it before it can be loaded. We're now shown a list of all the keys that have been loaded into Pageant. We can close the list. To test the connection, we can open it directly through the Pageant context menu, or we can launch the Save Session from PuTTY. Once again, we've successfully connected. Since we entered the private key passphrase when the key was added to Pageant, we did not need to re-enter it when the connection was established.